This is getting to be one long, bad, sick joke. I never joke, Mrs. Channing. Good. I think you're going to enjoy Tuscany. It's such a peaceful and happy community. With you as its prime mover? I doubt that. <laughs> I didn't think it was so funny. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd like you to meet my stepdaughter, Skyla Kimball. She's staying with us for a few days. You have my deepest sympathies. Shall I serve this brandy after dinner, Miss Channing? Why wait? Pour it on her now and light it. You know, I've kept you in my prayers. Oh, really? For or against recovery? <laughs> would you like to have some tea, Mr. Carlotti? Tea? Yeah, yeah, some tea. That would be very nice. Thanks. Would you like some tea, Miss Channing? Yes, thank you, Charlie. How's the tea? Just like Dr. New makes it. More tea? <laughs> this little tea party is over. Did I ever tell you how much Emma means to me? No, no, fine. If you don't stay put, I'm going to kick Dr. New out of here and do the acupuncture myself. But you're quite a philosopher, Miss Braxton. You're quite something yourself, Mrs. Channing. Don't you ever forget it. I never forget anything, Mrs. Channing. I want you to know that your enemies are my enemies. I only want what's best for you, my dear. That bullet hit my back, not my brain. No one would ever guess. I'll get a sherry. No, 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 just wait. Let the maid do it. I want you to rest. I'm not dead yet, Miss Chani. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Who said dead men don't tell tales? What are you doing? Shh. He's feeling your aura. <laughs> I sense danger. You stay away from me, or you'll find yourself in the other world. So much fun watching Angela rub your nose in the mud. Mother, you followed us here, didn't you? Of course not. I'm looking for Peter. Oh, please. What would he be doing here? Changing his oil? Not everything I do has a string attached to it. <laughs> Never kid a kidder. Never kid a kidder. Is there anything you wouldn't do to get rid of Chase? Well? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Are you comfortable, Angela? Can I uh, do anything else for you? How about I fix you an arsenic on the rocks? Was that any way to talk to your new partner? You? That's right. I'm your new distributor. <clears throat> Some cuts and... If the intention is to make me a fire-breathing dragon, you're years too late. Now get rid of that. <clears throat> Not everyone is motivated by ulterior motives, my dear. Really? Mm. Name two. You know, I cannot believe you're going to marry that gold digger. You are talking about my bride-to-be. Miss Jones and I are going to be very happy together. When are you going to quit calling her Miss Jones? Her name is Erin. One of the Walton children was named Erin. I can't seem to get past that. Bone dry. Oh, no, it was a beautiful service, wasn't it, Mary? Yes. Well, what did you drag in this time? Watch it, Grandmother. This is my new bride you're talking about. Oh, no. I knew you'd be pleased. We eloped last night. Your face is always welcome at my table. She's not moving in. I'm moving out. More privacy that way, you know. <laughs> I mean, knowing how much our family members love each other, we're picking bullets out of the walls till Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to win my son back. Well, you always did go for lost causes. Well, isn't that sweet of Chase to spend all that money on a lost cause? Get out. And how could I possibly turn you down? You could have said you were out of town or that you were taken down with the flu. Or candid enough to say that your appearance is in terrible taste. Emma, how could you do this? He's my brother. He's your half-brother. But now you don't think I would harm my own grandson, do you?
Step-grandson. What's the difference? Of course, he really isn't a Gioberte. Nice to see you too, Angela. No one knows better than you what it feels like to be a bastard in this world. And you should have thought of that before you got Maggie pregnant. I want you to get down on your knees to your husband's bastard. Is the champagne free? Actually, she's pouring chases. She won't admit it, but she was in there scraping off the labels. I'll go get us some. <laughs> I'll only be a minute. Well, don't rush. We spend so little time together. She's letting her imagination run away with her again. I'd rather serve soda pop. Remind me never to give another dead party. Do you have any idea what a monster your father is? Well, nothing quite as touching as a grandmother's love. Well, good night, Grandma dearest. Melissa, this is Pierre. Bonjour. Pierre is a hairdresser. I'm terribly sorry, but I don't think he speaks very good English. Angela, what is going on here? I think you need a new image if you want to get your singing career off the ground, and you know that I am one of your best boosters. <laughs> now, what do you think of this? <laughs> I hate it. But you can try it on after he's finished your hair. Come on, Melissa, sit down. Pierre is a very talented man. He has a marvelous imagination. I've been canvassing some people, discreetly, of course, as to our plan of action. With the valley going through a tremendous cycling down process, a real power unlink, I think we're in great shape. Are you speaking English? Guys in their tights. Oh, my God. Girls in their tutus. What's the matter, honey? Don't you like my new style? So sexy. It's time for a shopping spree. I'll, I'll, I'll need a new dress. I've been shopping. Blindfolded? Do I look oh. stupid or what? <laughs> no, you look terrific. The diamonds are real. Uh -huh. <laughs> Will you get rid of the spy outfit, please? The gown is real. Yeah. What a stunning dress, Angela. And yes, everything else is real. Show me. Thank you. I love the shoes. Yeah, I know. I'm just a fashion warrior. Can we go shopping sometime? Oh, I'd be delighted. What? Emma, what are you doing in that dress? You know, I've had this dress so long. <laughs> what are you doing? Now, don't get excited, Mother. This behavior has to stop, Emma. Would you please excuse her? Oh, I was thinking, you think I'd never get married in it. <laughs> well, oh my goodness, you look magnificent. Just, oh, I love your hair. You ain't seen of... nothing yet. Angela, that's really just... <laughs> I want you to be at Falcon Crest tomorrow morning at 9 sharp. Well, I'm going to be spending the night in the city. I don't care if you spend the night in a chair. I just don't want you to muss up your new hairdo. And don't forget to bring your new dress. You look dazzling. Oh, I should have had a photographer. Oh, but I did. How silly of me. Excuse me, gorgeous. Any last minute instructions? Uh, well, uh, just live up to your reputation. You got it, babe. Okay, guys. Great. Indeed. And if I tell you to dye your hair purple and wear snake bones around your neck, what are you going to do then? I am going crazy! But you are crazy! Let out, you bathead! I would be very careful about the next step I take, Melissa. <laughs> I'm the queen of the Tuscany Valley! Never mind. I wouldn't want to spoil your fun. Isn't it fun watching Tony twirl in the breeze? This is Angela Channing. Angela Channing. I'm Angela Channing. This is Angela Channing. Oh, this is Ms. Channing. You must be Angela Channing. Yes, I am. It's a pleasure to be abused by the famous tart tongue of Angela Channing. I'm so pleased. You mean people invite you home more than once? It's like something whipped up by bored workers at a chemical plant. Well, your choice tastes like antifreeze. It's been in a rusty radiator too long. Hey, have you lost any family or friends in the earthquake? Don't you know a better way to make a living? <laughs> oh, 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 that was brilliant. Well, I do have a certain credibility. I think I can handle this without your advice. If you're going to live in the Tuscany Valley, you'll learn to take my advice. Well, aren't these interesting little straps? You know, if they ever let you go home, I'll see that you have some extras. You have a gleam in your eye, Angela. I always have a gleam in my eye, Roland. As a community servant, it's my job to fatten you up. 
Do you know what a feeding tube is? They put it up your nose and you swallow it down into your tummy. Oh, I know it sounds terribly uncomfortable, but after a couple of days, you wouldn't live without it. Honey, I wish you'd stay with us. Oh, boring. <laughs> the next trick you do, disappear. Would you like me to untie Mrs. Whitaker? Well, I suppose we should. Oh, nonsense. I insist you stay. Angela, tell her she's being foolish. You're being foolish. Oh, lighten up, Mother. I'll be fine. I can't have any business dealings until Jupiter enters Taurus at the end of next month. Come on, Skylar. Do you know an amazing world we live in, Mother? You could test yourself for pregnancy Chinese in the rest. privacy of your own home. I started my own daycare center. Isn't it wonderful? I've never seen a real birth before. If you stand there like a statue, you will. Now, come on. Oh, not there, Richard. Oh, was a $10,000 rug. Well, which one of you do I congratulate? Hey. What are you all standing around here for? The staff was concerned about you. What the hell are you doing here? I'm perfectly fine. So you can stop gawking, go on about your duties. I came to welcome my dear husband into a new day. For another winery like hers, I'd turn the other cheek. If you weren't Emma's date, I'd kiss it and make it well. Don't tell me you dropped a contact lens.